<laughs> just messing about with the trumpet guys hey guys uh how's it going hope you beautiful lads and lasses are doing well today it's dave here and welcome back to danganronpa trigger happy havoc just to recap where we left off and where we are just now so um the point we left off with is still chapter two the first morning um and we've left off in the dining hall at the end of the last episode so uh just regarding the last episode what did we learn so um we kind of well i kind of wanted to explore the whole school and the dorm area just to make sure nothing had changed because of uh, monokuma mentioning that we had a whole new world to explore kind of within the school so i wanted to have a look at the whole downstairs the ground floor first just to make sure nothing had changed and also talk to all the students who were still on the ground floor which technically i think we did because most of the other students were then found on the second floor but that was the that was the main point of last episode the second floor had been opened up by the shutter with the shutters at one of the stairways the other one is still shut so that might lead somewhere else we'll find out i guess um so in the last episode we went up the stairway into the second floor area where it looks as if if there were different years in the school and um, that's where the second year's classes would have been because we look as if we're first years because we just entered the school but it looks as if we're the only class and monica was the only teacher so doesn't matter so what we found on the second floor is we've got a whole lot of new facilities and some people were extremely hyped about them we've got a library and we've also got a swimming pool and we've also got class 2a and class 2b uh, to be or not to be stupid joke uh, but um so we went to the pool area and saw Aoi, uh, Celeste and Chihiro uh, where Aoi was majorly hyped the fact that they had a swimming pool in particular but also a gym and so maybe Sakura will be happy about that too uh had a look around the pool area in the locker room not much to see or do so we left it at that after a few monokuma coins then went to the library where we found a lot of the remaining students we hadn't spoken to from the downstairs um and one major point was discovered we then came across a letter a letter from uh, possibly from the government or possibly from just the higher ups in Hope's Peak Academy. Doesn't sound like it was Monokuma, but um, it basically revealed the pl more plot reveal, guys, more story reveal. That uh, apparently turns out the Hope's Peak Academy, the real Hope's Peak Academy kind of thing, because um, this doesn't appear to be it anymore, guys. We might, this might not be a real Hope's Peak Academy. Not 100% sure about that, but the letter revealed that apparently Host Peak Academy closed at least a year ago uh, for unforeseen circumstances. They haven't really specified what they are. Could be money, could be incidents, we don't know. So it closed down over a year ago and all the students were kicked out, the school closed down. Um, but it apparently was never reported widespread and apparently the local town never knew about it and obviously the guys here, this, 15, this group of 15, now down to 12, obviously didn't know this so they believed they were legitimately in the real Hope Speak Academy but now this has raised some questions over the legitimacy well <laughs> but they seem to be stuck in a death game that's being watched by people from the outside as well as monokuma so of course there's that but we don't know what else to think at the moment so we've still got to find out more guys we had a look around and then as usual kiyotaka wanted to call a meeting in the dining hall to discuss what we found out um from the top floor just for our investigations whether there was any means of escape from the second floor or any other information we could find so how do we talk with everyone? But then we found out that there were two latecomers to the meeting. One was Kiyotaka, which is extremely unusual. And the other one is Byakuya, which is not so unusual. He was late to one of the dining hall meetings before. Kiyotaka came into the room um, and advised everyone that there was a problem. And it was that Byakuya hadn't come to the meeting, but also was refusing to come out of his room if he is in his room because so our main mission is to find Byakuya and just to see if we can find any more clues or information guys so here we go let's do this so we are in the dining hall everyone else has moved on to look for Byakuya or at least try and get into his room if he's in there so we're just here and Makoto's just here and Celeste is still here 
but everyone else seems to have moved on to other places so let's just get that let's get some of these items out of the way just in case there are any monokuma coins celeste celeste aren't you going to help look for biakia i have not had my tea yet oh, for fuck's sake she really wants her milk tea that badly huh until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. Whoa. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hifumi to move faster. Oh my god. Wow. So, we'll be the lackey that whips Hifumi into shape. No. Gosh, we're getting, getting more Dominus, Domin Dominus Sadist uh, to a masochist vibes <laughs> with that statement. No. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, Makoto's on for it. But aren't you being kind of... Selfish, yes. Okay, so Hifumi is apparently in the kitchen. Might as well go in while we're here. Is he in here? He is. I was wondering if he'd maybe done a runner. But there is only one exit. Uh, just looking in the background there, you can still see the kitchen knife that was used to murder Sayaka is still missing. But I guess that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Ah, Mr. Nagai. What's going on? Oh, he was in the kitchen when Kiyotaka came through, so he doesn't know. Well, nobody's seen Byakuya this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? what? That's not good at all. However, oh, this little piggy needs to go to market, stay at home, have roast beef, or none, or go all the way home. Sorry. I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. Oh my god, it is true. They have a master and slave relationship going. What the hell happened between these two? <laughs> to bless this undeserving swine with such an honor, I will serve you with all my heart and soul. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. What the hell is going on? Hifumi's created some creepy alternate reality for himself. Okay, we'll just leave you to your own devices and make that milk tea better, dude, for your own sake, because Celeste will go off the deep end again. Okay, guess we're done in here. So, the most logical thing to do would be to check Byakuya's room first. It looks like a bunch of people are near Byakuya's room as well. Toko's kind of a surprise. In fact, actually, Toko's hanging around Makoto's room. Hmm. Kind of want to check out the baths, but I don't know if it'll let me in here yet. Oh, will? Oh, well, let's go check it out. <laughs> Mondo, you were the least... You were the least likeliest person I thought would be in here at this point. Okay, so Mondo. He was... He was in the... Yeah, he was in the dining area, so he knows that Byakuya's missing. This massage chairs? What? God, Monokuma can afford anything. Using his massage chair would make me feel kind of old. Oof. What's wrong with the massage chair? I'd totally be up for that. I'm, I'm not that old, guys. Uh, lockers. One of them is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. Uh, okay. Right, okay, so it's just Mondo, but there is a door off to the left, which I'm guessing is into the baths. Uh, okay, Mondo. Yo. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, Shit, man. Where the hell did he go? He's got his head stuck so far up his ass, who knows what's going on with him. Yeah, he is. his head is well lodged up there, Mondo, you're alright. I figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. By the way. So what about you? You a morning bath kind of guy? Oh. Hell yeah. After spending all night riding your hog, wind in your face, there's nothing better than a morning dip. The hot water loosens you up and the heat of your soul gets your heart and body pumping. Sh sure thing. I'll have to take your word for all that. Why? What? You Why? don't know what I'm talking about? Fucking nerd. <laughs> Hell yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me next time. You'll see. I, I'll think about it. But I mean, it's not like you've been riding a hog here in the school, right? True. 
Uh, no, I'm gonna. Might, well, I might as well check out the baths. See what cool facilities we've got in the baths. Okay, so no one's here. Makes sense, I guess. This bathtub is huge. That it is. Again, the showers for cleaning are over there. So, I think I saw on the map there's a sauna. So, is this the sauna? Yep. Yeah, I was going to say I would trust that there's no one in here at a time like this when Biakia is missing, but it looks fucking cool. What's this? Is it the heat source for the sun? It would make sense. It looks like coals. Right, but anyway, nothing to do here. So let's just get all the way back out of here. So uh, Mondo, don't worry. We'll uh, have that morning bath with you sometime. Right, so Toko and Aoi are there. No one else obviously around here. Let me just check the laundry room because we didn't see it earlier. Anyone in here? No, no one in here. Okay. The swimsuit's still up here. The swimsuit's still hanging out to dry. I'm surprised Hifumi hasn't come by and stolen it or, or, or something. Oh god, yeah, he probably would. Yeah, we're done here. Okay. I want to kind of check all the other areas just before I go to Byakuya's room, just in case there's anything I miss. Oh! I didn't expect anyone here, but Hero's in here. It's a fish tank. There's a bunch of little fish swimming around inside. Hero, what's up? What are you doing in the bathroom, Hero? Hmm. Huh? Oh. Well, well. Presumably a number one or a number two. According to the spirits... I consulted the spirits, and... He had a bathroom emergency and couldn't make it to breakfast. Oh, that's what you think. So Byakuya might be in one of the toilets. Well, His guts forced him to spend all morning in the can. No way. But I was totally wrong. Swing and a miss. Three strikes. I'm out. Oh, a baseball reference after Leon's been executed. Dude, too soon. Yeah, Biakia doesn't seem like the kind of guy to have problems like that. Yeah, that. Yeah, don't see him like that. He'd probably control his uh, movements uh, quite, uh, you know, efficiently. Anyway. Trash room time. Anything in here? So, uh, Makoto hasn't been told that he's ever going to be on the trash duty, so... Makes sense. And I'm guessing Makoto will never get the key and we just have to find out who has it. If we ever need to get in there. Because the only one who will have been able to use the ball would have been Leon. Okay, right, before I go around to Biakia's room, I just want, we checked out the baths, I just want to check out this new warehouse. Gate is blocking access to stairs. Yeah, okay, let's check out this new warehouse. Oh damn, there's a lot of supplies in here. And of course Kiyotaka is guarding them. Of course he is. Is this the fridge Sayaka mentioned? It's stuffed tight with food and drinks. Oh, well, Sayaka shouldn't have been able to get in here before she died. Then camera. Someone's using these cameras to watch people die. As much as it gets on my nerves, I better leave it alone. What else we got up here? There's all different kinds of food stacked up, from basic ingredients to snacks and candy. It's everything anyone ever could ever want or need. Okay, I think the only thing left is gear talker. What's going on? Mm. Aha! I see you came to search this area as well, Makoto. Mm. But you were one step too late. I've already finished my investigation and there was no trace of Biakia here. You hear me? An army marches on his stomach, as they say. So, I thought maybe he would come here to have his fill. We must all eat. Eat until there's nothing left to eat. Uh, that would be a bad idea, although I think... 
I can't remember who it was, I think it was Chihiro said it appears that Monokuma restocks the place quite well, so we might not starve. Anyway, now is no time to get discouraged. We must head elsewhere to continue our search. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yep, so nothing in there. Right, I could go leave the Despair Hotel and go back to the school first, but no, I better see what's going on here. Kyoko and Aru? Yeah, we're, we're only interested in uh, Byakuya's room, I guess. Right, so Ari's right outside his door. Uh, well, kind of. I'll just go in my own room. Yeah, no, I wouldn't look right, Toko. Hey, Toko, hanging out with Hina, huh? Mm, yeah, this this seems like a strange pairing. What's what? You got a problem with th that? N no. <laughs> so, something might have happened, right? Being alone r right now might not be safe. So you got scared and decided to stay close to Hina. I guess everyone has a softer side. As long as I'm w with the sports idiot. Oh boy. Yeah, I forgot. They don't like each other at all, do they? If something d does happen, I'm sure she'd jump in without the thinking and take the fall. Huh? She's just using Aoi to blame if they go into Byaka's room and he's dead. What? Were you e eavesdropping? Awful. You're just uh, awful. Yeah, and I, I keep forgetting, Toko was one of the first persons to blame us at the first trial. G get lost, you stray cat. God, she's such a bitch. Aoi? Hey, Hina, any luck? Nah, it's no use. I keep banging on his door and nothing. Come on already, open up! Oh. C careful, you're gonna bust the door down hitting it that hard. <laughs> Relax. This is nothing compared to what Sakura could do. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, we've not seen her. She really could destroy the door, probably. Sakura is really awesome, you know. If she really wanted to, she could tear this door to shreds. I... I see. Well, she is the ultimate martial artist. She might actually be able to do it. Hmm. Is this where we have to try and find Sakura and persuade her to knock the door down? I've been knocking long enough. I think I can say for sure he's not here. I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go look around for him. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Yeah, and then we'll probably find him. Dead, probably. Maybe I'll knock myself just to be sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... See? He's down in there. Yeah, I guess not. So let's go. Okay, so I guess we best be thorough, guys. Let's go check out 1B first. Okay, not in here. Oh, the last time we were in here, I think the pamphlet that Makoto had was gone, but it's back again. So that's what, when I first got here, the little pamphlet's still laying there. Absolutely no desire to look at it ever again. I suppose I could check the AV room. Anyone in here? No, no one in here. Well, can I go in? I can go in the store. Okay, brief break to go spend some coins, guys. Um, I, I was going to say, unless Biaki is in here. Now, the only person we ever found in here was Junko when she was still alive. Doesn't seem to have take any money, so I guess we can drink as much as we want. I kind of hate looking at it. Maybe we should start beating up on it. <laughs> it's definitely a school store, but there's all kinds of stuff here I wouldn't expect to find in a normal school store. Oh, and a Monokuma coin. Sweet. Wait, what's up there? Oh, is it just a camera? Okay, to the coin machine. Yeah, let's give it a shot. So I got 90 coins, chance of repeat 15%. Let's try two coins. 
That's a repeat, so we don't want that. Let's try five coins. Shit, that's another repeat, I'm sure of it. Son of a bitch. Three coins? That's a new one, I think. Hmm, interesting item. I think that's a new one. Oh, that's the shirt. That's the shirt we gave to Leon as a gift, which is kind of wasted because he's dead now. Let's try five coins. What do we get? Mm, yeah, I think that's a new item. That's a repeat, son of a bitch. That's a repeat, we just got that one. Oh, got a lucky spin, excellent. That's a new one, is that a fountain pen? Oh, that'd be a perfect gift for Topo. Although I don't want to give her one, she's a bitch. Seven coins, what do we get? Um, is that the charm, I think? So I think we've already got that one. Lucky spin, what did we get? Um, something new. 23%. Let's try nine coins. It's a new item, a video game thing. That would be good for maybe here for me. Video games. Yeah, possibly only for here for me. Try seven coins. That's a repeat, we've had that. That's something new, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, lucky spin again. That's the third time we've had that tree branch thing. Ten coins, going for it. Okay. Is that a gun? Five coins. Had that. Damn it. Chances are a repeat at twenty-five percent. Ten coins. Oh god, a new item, a telephone. Twenty-six. Just going for it, guys. All the coins. Good, got something different. Right, so all coins gone. We've got 27% chance of a repeat. Should probably get going here. Sea salt. Basic season produced from the rubber sea water. This is a great preservative. Let's see if we cycle to one of the other new items we've got. Yeah, we've got that. A pair of boxing gloves infused with a staggering amount of passion and effort. Where in the miss you want to throw a thousand cross counters? Could be another gift for Sakura. Scarf belonging to a certain masked hero. It's tattered and worn due to the countless battles it's been through. Again, could be a gift for Sakura. Hifumi might be interested. That's the rock t shirt. Uh, hmm. Figure. Scissors, yeah, we've had all these. Yeah, create, created with high tech future technology, a single shot can melt every molecule in a fully grown human. What the frick? There aren't any batteries though, so you can't fire it. Oh god, we just need batteries for the ray gun Zurian. That might be something that Ch uh, Chihiro would be interested in, maybe? A phone that, for some unknown, unknown reason, doesn't let you hear the person on the other end, and doesn't let them hear you. Then what's the point? Skull carved from pure rock crystal. Some think skulls like this were created hundreds of years ago. Perhaps with alien intervention and consider them OOPRs. Or OOPRs. So that might be something that Hero might be interested in. A golden sculpture said to reprint 
a plane or spaceship. It was found in ruins in Colombia dated to around 1000 CE, indicating to some that this represents an OOPR. Again, that might be something that Hero's interested in. Now, this, these seven important mathematical problems were posed by the Clay Mathematics Institute with a reward of one million dollars for each one solved. That might be something we could give to Biakia. Nearest popular portable game system. It was a high de it has a high dev touch screen and can also play music videos, making for the perfect all-in-one media machine. Chihiro might like that, or maybe Hifumi. The branch from a Sakaki tree, commonly used in Shinto rituals, it serves as a connection between humans and the gods. That is definitely a gift that Hero would like. So we've got one for him. Uh, we've seen uh, the fountain pen. It once belongs to a late great novelist. Say the writer's soul is sealed within the pen, and any user can only write one sentence. Become something not human. Ooh. Uh, interesting. So, yeah, there's a few gifts we can give to other students that we haven't done already. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, I just wonder if we get the opportunity to give them gifts still. But as I say, it might be free time, guys. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of thinking while we're heading up here, who have we not seen? And one of the answers is Kyoko. Um, I suppose I'll talk to her. Hey. So you thought to come here too? Huh? So... If you think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday... Yeah, he had an interest in the library, didn't he? You can probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? What was it Byakuya was interested in again? He seemed to be interested in what that letter said. Um, yeah, imagine going in here when Kyoko's watching. That wouldn't be too good. I'll quickly check the bathroom in here. Oh. Yeah, this is where the bathroom is supposed to store. I don't see anything useful in here. Nothing else. I'm just gonna go by process of elimination, guys, but... I think Byaki is probably in the library, but let's just check the pool area just to make sure. Oh, Sakura's here. I forgot we haven't seen her yet. Huh. It would appear Byakuya is not here. Since this morning, I thought he might have gone to the locker room to exercise. But I forgot that girls can't open the boys' locker room door. Oh yeah, true. I knocked, but nobody answered. I listened for the sound of equipment being used, but there was nothing. So he must not be in there. Well, we've just checked, he's not. Besides, Byakuya doesn't seem like the type to go sweat it all out this early in the morning. Do you exercise every single morning, Sakura? Of course. Mm hmm If I didn't get my blood pumping early in the morning, it would throw off my rhythm for the entire day. Okay, so... Sorry, Kyoko, I'm gonna barge past you for a second. Oh, oh, Chihir Chihiro, I forgot about her too. Um, oh, hey, Makoto. So, did you find Byakuya? Uh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't see him anywhere. I see. But Somehow, Kyoko figured out where he might be. Huh? You know? Kyoko's so amazing. She's so cool, she's smart, and she seems really tough. She's definitely smart, that's for sure, but tough. Compared to, say, Sakura or even Hina, she doesn't seem all that different from Chihiro. Is it weird to compare them like that? Maybe. Oh. Uh, she feels helpless. Poor Chihiro. I'll just have a quick swim by the classroom, but it's obvious where he is. But I definitely think that's everyone now that I've talked to. Ooh, actually we haven't been in this room. Um, we missed this one in the last episode. Reality isn't everything. Ooh. There's Monokuma coin. It was worth it, guys. <laughs> okay, to where he obviously is, the library. Right, Byakuya, show yourself. Uh 
Uh, now, guys, this is where things might get interesting slash a bit serious for chapter two. So let's see what's going on. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Brace yourselves. Potentially bad stuff is about to happen. Byakia? Oh, he's fine. He's just chilling reading the book, dude. What's there to be worked up about? Of all the things I'd imagine, this most definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? He's having a cup of joe, a cup of coffee, and reading a book. I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> Sarcastic as fuck as always. I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Yeah, but everyone's been worried about you, dude. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! Yeah, assert yourself, Makoto. What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Mm, he doesn't, he's not really a team player. He doesn't care about anyone but himself, really. Who asked you to do that? Mm. Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. You don't care. A promise? Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? I suppose that's fair. But then again, he could just stay in his room, but I suppose they'd come knocking, obviously. Byakuya snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Uh-oh. Byakuya, so this is where you've been hiding. The heck are you doing here, man? We were very concerned. Hmm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Okay. Wow. Where, what were you reading? A mystery novel. Wow. Wait, so you're going to use what you're learning in there to betray us? Uh... Don't be stupid. Yeah! Uh-oh. It's just something to keep in mind. Uh-oh. He might have some evil intentions. Yeah. What? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Uh-oh. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? Oh shit, he's announced he's in the game. He So he is willing to kill, possibly. It's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> His words sent a chill down my spine. Hmm. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. What the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. It essentially is the Hunger Games, except they're trapped in a school. He is right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It is a part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something, their lives in our case. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like, a kind of elimination match? Actually. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the blackened. Yeah, that's true. If you get away with it, then everyone else dies and you graduate. But if you get it wrong, you're executed. 
So in other words... Well, if, if they get it right, I mean, what I mean by that. Yeah. So, this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. Yeah, pretty much. Unless you all willingly agreed to stay there forever. That... that... That can't be what they had in mind. Uh, yes it is, dude. Th this is why adaptation is so crucial. Here she goes again. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. Oh boy, he's gone off the deep end. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. Of course. Yeah, he's so far up himself. So confident he's going to win. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami heir apparent. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Mm, don't know, hero. You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Uh-oh. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch. Who, who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? That an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage that you have survived this long. Oh, shit. Byakuya is just asking for Mondo to hurt him badly, even possibly kill him. But uh, if... Ah, uh, that might be Byakuya's plan though. Get beat up, maybe not to the point of death, but then if but if for any reason it did happen, Mondo would be immediately, you know, caught. Hmm. I'm gonna fucking kill you, yeah. Like I said, I won't die. You keep saying that, but... Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. Well, he sounds as if he's had a fairly privileged life, so he's probably always got what he wanted. He is the ultimate affluent progeny. After all, a boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. Is that not so, Byakuya? At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it, wonderful? it is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. Yeah, and she's the ultimate gambling person. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? <laughs> Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. Hmm. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. Uh, he's in it to win it. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? God, what a dick. No. That, that's a terrible way to look at it. Yeah, this is... Chihiro's probably going to be affected the most by this because she doesn't want to be involved at all. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friends is... Is... I'm pretty sure Byakuya doesn't regard you as friends. That's horrific. Mm-hmm. Friends? Who decided that, exactly? Huh? Yeah, Chihiro, these guys are not in here for friendship, really. We're not friends. No. Quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. Oh boy. But... You know... But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Ugh. Is Chihiro gonna make a stand here? Um... Uh, mm? Come on. Yes? If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth shut. Hmm. Uh-oh. Hey, shithead! You get off on bullying people that can't fight back! You wanna try that on me? Yeah, Mondo doesn't like girls being picked on that can't defend themselves. <laughs> so, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Fuck you! 
What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a That's bitch. it. You're fucking dead. Just a second. Uh, hold on. Just calm down. Yeah, Mondo, if you kill him, then you're definitely going to be found out. Piece of I am calm. Uh... How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time. And I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. He has a point. I'm actually surprised no one has actually tried that. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Whoa. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately, you're all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Byakuya left. So he's essentially declared himself an enemy of everyone. And that everyone should declare each other as enemies. Oh boy. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? I think so. <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck well, him. fuck him then. But, Maybe. Yeah, I was going to say, where is Toko? And Kyoko also, uh, as well. But, but what he said, he might not n necessarily be wrong. I mean... Can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? Hey, come on, you too, Toko? Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone would care even if I was gone, right? Oh, God's sake. Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all think I'm d disgusting. None of us think that. <laughs> you just you. think you don't think that. God damn it, Toko. Well, Byakuya and Toko kind of alienated themselves from the beginning. I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. You think I d don't know? But I do. You want me gone. And I'm just sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Ah, uh, hey, Toko, wait. Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there is nothing you can say to bring her back. Hmm. Celeste is right. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Still daytime. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time to take even one day off. Oh, maybe we've got free time. I need to get myself going. Yes, we've got free time. So that means we should be able to just openly talk to people and then choose someone to spend time with. And maybe learn a bit more about their personalities for the report cards, guys. Because I do want to try and get as much information as we can about everyone. And also unlocks achievements for Steam. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, unfortunately, that is all the time I've got for Dangan Rumpa Trigger Happy Havoc at the moment. So we're going to call this episode right here, and we will see what happens with Byakia, Makoto, and the rest of the gang in the next episode, guys. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this video at this time. If you enjoyed this video and you're enjoy enjoying the series so far, then let me know by giving it a beautiful, massive thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, don't forget to smash the subscribe button on the channel. Page just so you get regular updates from myself um, regarding new content, new videos, and also status updates. And don't forget to also ring that bell, click that bell uh, next to the subscribe button when you click it, um, so you get notified by YouTube of when I post new videos and posts and comments um and also speaking of comments uh let me know what you think in the comments down below guys how the game's going if you're enjoying it even if you just want to say hi just go wild in the comments guys just be respectful to each other that's all i ask and yeah we'll continue dangan rumper trigger happy havoc in the next episode guys so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye